okay, after fixing the quadrant yesterday and adjusting that and seeing that the hydraulics were still messing up in the position control, next step, it's got to be something, it's got to be out of adjustment, spring's got to be broke, or uh, something's bent in the lift unit. So, next step, pull the lift unit off. Okay, first step on this, two bolts to hold the seat down. Since I just put the seat on the other day, should be easy. Alright, next we need to disconnect the lift arms. We'll pop the pins out there and then the pin for the draft. Surprisingly easy. And keep in mind before you start this job, you will need a gasket set for this because there's a big gasket that goes between that cover. And that will definitely need to be replaced. Hey, this piece is held on with a piece of wire. I like it. Okay, we'll take that pin out for now. We need to get that loosened up at some point. It looks like we need a new pin there. Okay, the bolts you want to take out to remove this are the perimeter bolts. These four nuts, they go through the bolts on the inside that hold the cylinder to the lid. So you do not want to take those out now. Otherwise, your cylinder will fall out when you lift it up. So we'll take the perimeter bolts out and then we'll see if we can't pull it up out of there. Oh, and this is an 8 in, so all we got to do is take the bolts out and then the lid would come off. If you're working on a 2 in or a 9 in, you will have to take this cover off, which I'll have to do that later anyway to put things back together. But you'll need to take that off and disconnect your little rocker assembly that controls the valve and the pump. On the 8 ins, it's just a rod that fits down in a cup, so it just pulls straight up now. Okay, keep track of the length of your bolts. These two here are a different length than the rest. These four are a different length, and this one is you got a different length. Then all the short ones are the same. Well, let's see. Good place to pry on it a little bit. Pop it loose. There we go. Take this over to the bench. Okay, let's take a look down at this murky mess. I changed the oil not too long ago, and that's why it's red, but I may change it again because I got to feel around in there. There is quite a bit of sludge on the bottom. I should probably wash some of that out. That square thing under the drive shaft is your pump. The control rod assembly is like straight down under the fluid there. And that's what this fits into. That's what I have to guide it into as I put it back on there. So all of this other stuff, your drive control spring, your position control spring here, your quadrant, all of that moves that little rod back and forth to adjust the flow of the hydraulic fluid up through that hole into that cylinder. So we need to, I'll get this mounted up figure it out we'll start taking some measurements and see if those springs are in the right spot they're supposed to have a certain amount of um, length to them in the different positions so we're going to check that out Houston I think we found the problem got this hoisted up and put it in the vise and we got a little angle to the dangle there that we're not supposed to From everything I've seen that rod is supposed to be straight and that would make sense because as you 
lower your quadrant to lower the arms this raises up and since that's bent down it's not raising up as far as it should so we need to pull that arm out and very gently straighten that baby out okay it looks like to take this out right there i took a cotter pin and nothing to wash her off and that releases the quadrant from the arm so i'm going to unbolt the quadrant out here and see if we can take that off not sure if that was exactly how that was supposed to come apart but i took those four nuts off took the piston and cylinder out and that let me work this piece off of that stud there and then once that was out of the way you could slide the control rod on so now it's time to go see if i can straighten this without breaking it ouch that hurt okay my methodology oh that hurt bad i hit my knee my methodology for straightening this was putting it in the press. And I pressed it with uh, the wood block and then I finished it up on the steel. And is it 100% straight? Nah. Is it way the heck better than it was? You betcha. Because all I got to do is get it close enough that I have enough travel to set it with the quarter adjustment. So we're going to put this back on, do some other checks on the spring links, and then we should be good to start cleaning it up and putting it back together. Well, now, doesn't that look better? Not all dangly like a drip. Well, you know what I mean. I got everything all put back in there. And if I was one of the cool kids and had a jig, I'd adjust everything with a jig. But I do not have a jig which I may have in the future. So we're gonna adjust everything by the book, which I checked everything before I took it apart, before I realized that that was supposed to be straight and everything was proper. But we'll go back through it again. The draft spring, supposed to be able to move it around but not have any free play, that's good. So right now, we put the lever in draft position which is down and we're going to measure the length of the draft control spring it's supposed to be three and nine sixteenths inches so let me get the calipers and we'll check that draft spring length is right on the money so now we'll start working with the position control okay we got to flip the lever up to position which is the up position then we've got to adjust the touch control to where there's three quarters of an inch of a gap between the arm and the end of the slot. So that's set. Raise the lift arms to their top operating position. I've got them set. I've got a little shim in there holding them in place. There's some uh, factory alignment marks. So that's set. So we lift this assembly up until that's hitting the cam on the lift arms and then we lift this up okay we'll look at it again here that's where it's supposed to be I put that notch back lined up there that would have been the factory position Got that where it's supposed to be. So as I raise this up, this back here should hit that cam at the same time the swivel hits the bottom of that. And it does. And it did before. Now when I loosen this up and move that, that threw all that out of whack is do it just like the factory manual says. We'll put this in the hole, and then once we get it bolted down, we will lower the quadrant 
and that thing should have that right up against the housing inside the tractor as that quadrant is at the end if not then we can adjust it here now if the rod is straight we should have enough adjustment to do whatever we need to do to make it right and this all springs everything measures out good so I'm gonna start cleaning stuff up and put it back together one more thing before I put it together I am changing the rings I've got the old style piston I know you can get the one with the o-ring with the leather backer but I've still got the old style and the rings are cheap like $15 for a set of rings so I'm putting new rings on it before I put it back together the old ones are worn you stick them down in the bore you got about 35 thousandths gap you put the new ones down in there and measure that you've got about 18 so that should help it hold pressure a little better so we'll just slip them on the piston slip the piston back in the cylinder and away we go got the gasket surface all cleaned up on that piston rings are in we're ready to put the new or put the cylinder back on it's got long and short bolts Long ones go toward the back, short ones go toward the front. Pretty easy to figure out. So I'll slap that on there, get that bolted down. Now we gotta clean all that mess up without getting any in the oil. Okay, that surface is cleaned up. Now this working on cast iron is nice. I'm used to working on aluminum and you just, you look at it and you end up gouging it and trying to get the gasket off. You can get pretty aggressive with this stuff and not hurt it. Same deal with the cover. But if you're wondering how I got such a nice finish on that, and I know you are. scotch Bright pad on a grinder. Works wonderful. They've got different grades of the, the pad, and it will take off the gasket material like crazy and not damage the surface. You can use the fine one even on aluminum as long as you use a light touch. But on this cast iron, just went to town, man. Just blew that stuff off there. Now, I need to remove that cover. Because I have to be able to get in there and guide that control rod down into the pump. Because that's probably how it got bent to start with. Somebody's had this off and jammed it down in there. Very critical that that's in there properly. And then while we have the cover off, we can adjust the quadrant. Since I am a bit of a handy guy, and I'm working by myself, and that thing is heavy, and I don't want to bend my rod, I built a little hangy thing to put it under the hoist. So now I can lower it down in there and get that rod in the hole where it's supposed to be without bending it. Hopefully. Now we'll set the gasket down on here. Here's that it'll go either direction because it's got a hole on each side for the hydraulic fluid, so that's nice. One less thing I can screw up. Now, it's time to lower her down and guide her in. Okay, the hole we got to put this into is back behind the pump down in the oil. So I can't really show it to you, but you go feel around, you'll find it. So we're going to turn this. Start coming down. I'm in deep. Tell you, deep. Sure. Now, no wonder these things are bent. She's in the deal. And I was that deep in the sauce. I want to have nice soft skin tonight. May smell like oil, but that's okay. Okay, I won't bore you with the rest of putting the bolts in. As soon as I get the bolts in, get everything torqued down, then we will adjust the quadrant by feeling down in there. Now it's time to find out if I did this right. With the lever in the draft position, I gotta reach down in there where I guided that rod into the little socket. Now what should happen is I raise the quadrant. When it gets to the top, that rocker should be up against the pump house. If not, I need to adjust it here. So I'm going in deep again. Ouch. Okay. 
rod is still in the hole. Well, shit, that ain't even close. No oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to remember which way that was bent. It was bent down there, so that's maybe why it was bent. Motherfucker. I will loosen up the quadrant, see if there's enough travel there to fix it. Check! Yes. You remember yesterday's video, when I took this up in a position probably it would come up. Now it's not coming up. I got the quadrant all the way down. was bent. I straightened the rod. Everything else checked out good. With the rod bent, it didn't work right. But the way the rod was bent, it would actually have had the valve more like the service manual says it's supposed to be. Because right now, when I go all the way up with it, it's not really close to the valve body or close to the pump like it's supposed to be like the service manual says it's supposed to be and yet now it works for the first time in 40 years this thing is never position control has never worked on this track so even though it's technically set wrong it works right <laughs> i don't care as long as it works right yeah i'm happy I don't understand what exactly was going on, but I do know the rod's supposed to be straight from the pictures I've seen. And I think it would probably be worthwhile to pick up the jig that uh, Just 8 in sells that you mount onto the side and you just line up the control rod with it. And don't even worry about sticking your hand down in the goop. So I may pick one of those up. Next time I have the top off, for some reason, I may go through and set it a little better. Because there's lots of instructions on how to do that. Um, I had mentioned changing the fluid. I'm going to have to add a little bit for what drained out. But I think I, for my next videos, I'm going to pull the pump. It's sludgy in the bottom. I have a gasket for the pump. So why not just pull the pump, clean it out good. So until next time, thank you for going along on this adventure. Even though it's kind of weird, it does work. I'm happy. Thanks. A little smoky in here, but I'm burning uh, some oil off the muffler. Unfortunately, my happy dance earlier was a little premature. As I was saying, the rod was not up against the pump like it says it's supposed to be in the shop manual. But since the position control was working great, I, for the first time ever, I just lost my mind and thought, oh, I've got it. I don't care if it's not set exactly right. Well, the problem was that I drove it out of the garage and I thought, well, crap, I better check the draft control. Pull the lever all the way to the top and nothing. So I adjusted the quadrant, moving it back and forth, nothing. So I took the side cover back off and if I reach in there and pull that rod to the front of the tractor, like where it's supposed to be, then draft control shot right back up. So I pulled the top back loose, which fortunately everything's real easy to take off. Pulled the top back loose and there's, there's no adjustment as far as that goes. So I went and bent the rod back a little bit. I think what the deal was, was the rod was just bent too far. 
because before, you know, this quadrant moves the rod forward as you pull it up. We used to, you'd get here and it'd get real stiff. So I'm thinking about here was where it was hitting the pump body instead of here where it's supposed to be all the way. So I bent the rod about half as much as what it was before, set it back down in there, pulled the rod all the way to the top, and luckily it was right on the money. The, the little plunger was up against the uh, pump just as the rod got to the top. So I tried it out again, and when I put it in position mode, the draw bar comes up about that far instead of staying all the way to the bottom. But then the rest of the travel works just like it should. Put it in draft mode, pull the handle all the way up, draw bar goes up just like in transport mode. You let it down a little bit and it just drops like it should be to blade or plow or whatever you're doing. So then I went back to adjusting the quadrant and there is just, there is a sweet spot that is very, very small. If you go far enough to get the position to keep the draw bar absolutely all the way down, then you lose draft control. You move it just enough to get the draft control back and your bar comes up a little bit. So I'm happy with that. Position control just didn't work hardly at all before. Now, it, besides coming up just a little bit, it works exactly like it should. Pull that lever up, it comes up a little bit. Works great. Draft works great. It's lined up like it should be down in the pump. And this is where a jig would come in handy because a jig will have been set up with everything properly, you know, the, the control rod will have been straight and new and whatever. And then you could just fine tune it setting it to the uh, the jig with this right here with your quarter. Unfortunately, mine was bent far enough out that the quarter wouldn't fix it. I had to bend it and get it right in the right spot, but now it works good. So let me show you. in draft mode. All the way up. Comes up transport mode just like you should. Bring it right there. It starts dropping down. That from what I understand is how that should work. Okay. Put it all the way down. Now watch the draw bar. I'm going to flip it up into position mode. Comes up just a little bit. And then I've got full control the rest of the way, all the way to the top. And as far as I'm concerned, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to put the cover back on, put the seat back on, and call it a day. Thanks for watching.